Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Star Command, come in. Do you read me? Why don't they answer? <gasps> My ship! Blast. This will take weeks to repair. Buzz Lightyear mission log, start at 4072. My ship is run off course en route to Sector 12. I've crash landed on a strange planet. The impact must have awoken me from hypersleep. Terrain seems a bit unstable. No readout yet if the air is breathable. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello? Oh, yeah! Ah! Whoa! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I frighten you? Didn't mean to. Sorry, howdy. My name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. Takoyaki? Starting with dabs of okonomiyaki sauce, Japanese mayo, bonito fish flake, anori scallion. They taste really, really good. The outside shell is thin and crisp, and the interior batter is light and fluffy, and the fillings are super flavorful. あなたたちだって if I want to have sex before I get married? Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Cuz you're beautiful. Drop. Think you're funny? It's a summer Do you think you're home. fucking funny? Sit down, Jabberwock. I'm tired of your shit. I think we have an extra passenger. Oh. Oh. Who are you? Who am I? I'm late. I'm just. That's all you need to know. I'm late. I'd like to make a toast. Kesha, would you like some tea? Yes, but only half a cup. Like I fucked up. Like E Y E. <laughs> e Y E. That's you. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. E W E is you, Aaron. E Y E. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Oh my god. I would uh, whatever, man. I just I misheard you and I misthought you it. You did not I, mishear me. I, you repeated what I said. No, oh, I spelled it I wrong. I just saw it in my three head. Letter word. I know. I I'm embarrassed. You want to try spelling the? <laughs> What's this word? T he. T he. I, I'm sorry. I just I got I got all flustered. And oh I was my god. Fighting Water blight, Ganon. I will never let you live. No, <laughs> damn it. So this is so this is it is so much easier not to do things than to do them that you would do anything is totally remarkable. <laughs> Percentage wise, it is 100% easier not to do things than to do them. And so much fun not to do them, especially when you were supposed to do them. In terms of like instant relief, canceling plans is like heroin. It is an amazing feeling. Such instant joy. Kids don't like that. Kids always want to do stuff. Kids get angry. They go, oh, we didn't do anything all day. If you ever ask an adult what they did over the weekend and they say they didn't do anything, their faces light up. You're like, what'd you do this weekend? I, um, I did nothing. I did nothing at all. <laughs> did we do anything? No, I didn't do anything. I can't see. Hello, class, and welcome to sex education. I am your teacher, Mrs. Hopsyfoot. Now, as your sex ed teacher, I'm going to teach you about how the babies... First of all, you need to take your bean-filled clock and you need to protect it. So what you have to do is put your bean-filled clock inside the cock horse <laughs> Oops, sorry, I've, I've got it the wrong way around. I meant to say you need to put your cocky horse into the bean-filled clock. Sex education is so wild. Now, once you've got your cocky horse, you can bust out that good lingerie. This line is called Kinky Dog. Once, once you've got your Kinky Dog on, you can bring in your partner, Pissy Jeff. <laughs> Watch out for those flames! They'll get you pregnant. Now, what you've got 
is your cocky horse, your kinky dog, and pissy Jeff, and it's ready to get get going in the act that we call moist pigeon. What? It's missing a beak. I have a, I have a question uh, from the back there. Where's his beak? Well, if you were paying attention, you would know that his beak has been placed into his beanie clock and is safe. A very necessary process of moist pigeoning is getting the suck. <laughs> You've got to suck all the juice out of the pouch. Any questions? <laughs> Squash can make you smile If you like to waltz with potatoes Up and down the produce aisle So I can taste you on my tongue With your lips to kiss like a red hot sun You're one big sugar rush Suck me in, suck me in Hold me down to the very end I want kids to believe that if the tooth they put under their pillow has a cavity, they don't get rewarded for that garbage. <laughs> All right, the tooth fairy sees that nonsense. She doesn't give them money. She calls the tooth gremlin, and then he comes over, rips out the rest of their teeth, and kills her parents. <laughs> Brush your damn teeth. Got it. Start counting. How many? 26. Okay. Either you suck at math or you're going to die in two seconds. You suck at math. 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 S bitch. Yes, bitch. Stand up, bitch. Stand up for the bitch. Bitch. Stand up for us, bitch. Just bitch. And you see the way he strided in. Wait a minute. He walked in with a mission. Like he was ready to protect. He was ready to attack. He was ready to love. We stand. We stand a woke man. We stand it. Okay, a white man's whore is me if he's woke. You know. Take it. Take this pussy. <laughs> Don't, they didn't notice, so don't worry. Okay. Just don't don't make You're, a scene or anything. What do you? Don't make a scene. The, no. And this girl was she was gorgeous. She had huge eyes, eyes, really, eyes. You were looking at her eyes. I was talking about her. Hey, hey, would be sensitive here. Tatas. No. Hooters. No. It's very sexist to talk that way. Why don't you just say she had a nice smile? I didn't notice. She had a nice smile? Yeah, no, after I saw her tatas, I had a nice smile.